When people come to do this course for a year, um, to teach them basic hand skills, we set them five projects. And the projects are cross halving, winding sticks, breadboards, mallet, and bookends. And what I've done here is gathered all the tools together that you would need to complete these five projects. And this collection of tools is a good starting point for your toolkit. And we're going to start off with block planes. And the term blocking in came from a technique used by carpenters where they needed a plane that could be used one handed whilst holding the work with the other hand. Um, if you look at regular bench plane, in the body of the plane we've got a frog which is adjustable forward and back and onto that sits our blade and the grinding bevel and honed edge are sitting downwards onto that frog and on top of that we've got a chip breaker which breaks the shaving as it whisks around as it comes from the timber. If you move to a block plane you've got a seating angle of 20 degrees in a standard and 12 and a half in a low angle and if you consider that bevel is up and our honed edge is at 30 degrees that gives us an effective pitch of 50 degrees and 42 and a half degrees. Right, let's uh, look into more detail at marking and measuring tools firstly. Um, squares initially, um, if you're going to buy one square, buy a six inch square dovetail markers, we found that this pattern works best for Lee Nielsen or the Woodjoy you will need digital calipers of some description I think reasonably cheap pairs of these are fine for woodwork we work to 0.25 quarter of a millimeter um, and these available from Axminster Power Tools are fine you're going to need four gauges to do your work um, the reason you need four is because two are ground in one particular way and two are ground in another way. What the Japanese do is actually hollow the back of the blade so to help you flatten it. Other chisels won't have that. Right, um, today we're going to talk about saws and I've got three different types of saw here on the bench. I've got a, a piercing saw, coping saw and three types of dovetail saw and these are saws included in our kit because when we teach people how to make uh, these bookends you'd need these three types of saws. Today we're going to talk about bench planes and it's probably the most important tool you'll buy. Uh, they're used to flatten sawn boards and they largely break into four groups. Now the next thing that's important are the blades and these two planes carry very different blades. In a Lee Lilson you've got an A2 blade. A2 steel is a cryogenically treated steel. So either of, two, of these two would make a very good choice as your main bench plane. Okay. Thank you very much.